So now let's talk about a new type of liability discussed in Chapter 10, bonds payable. Bonds payable are a long-term liability, and what they are is interest-bearing notes payable, which are sold by a corporation. And anyone can buy a bond. So people buy bonds as an investment, just like they buy stock, except for when they're buying a bond, they're, they're buying a notes payable. So they're lending money to the corporation and the corporation promises to repay the principal amount borrowed plus interest. So let's say that a company needs to record the issuance of 100 bonds, and these bonds are for $1,000 each, and they pay 10% interest. The face value of the bond then will be the $1,000 amount. And if we sell those 100 bonds for $1,000 each, so we're selling them at face value, the company is going to receive $100,000 cash total from all of the people that buy those bonds, and it will credit the bonds payable account. Now, just like with a regular notes payable, companies need to recognize interest expense on bonds payable. So these entries I'm about to show you are very similar to the entries for notes payable. So if a company, again, issues $100,000 total in 10% bonds, and let's say the interest is going to be paid once a year, each year on January 1st. So if the bonds were issued January 1st and the fiscal year ends December 31st, a full year would, will have gone by and the company will need to debit interest expense and credit interest payable to recognize the interest expense incurred in this fiscal year. Because remember, the interest isn't being paid until January 1st of next year, so we have to be sure to accrue this interest expense in this fiscal year. And then, of course, when the interest is paid in January, we'll debit interest payable to remove the liability from the books and credit cash for the amount of interest paid. And then years from now, when the bonds become due and the corporation pays back the amount borrowed, because remember, bonds payable are a long-term liability, so this is going to be years in the future, the company will debit bonds payable and credit cash when the bonds are repaid.